What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Berm and today we are hitting the VGC Series 2 Ranked Ladder with this Symbiosis Hail Team with Florgus, with some fun Pokemon bundle. Before we begin, if you wouldn't mind liking, commenting, subscribing, helping the video reach more people, I sure would appreciate it. The description has the Poke Paste. It's got the rental code. It's got a link to a Discord where you can come and talk to other viewers of the channel, share rental codes of your own, talk about team builds, talk about drag race. All that stuff can happen over in the Discord. There's also time codes in case you want to skip the team breakdown. But basically, I asked you, what do you want to see in a team? And people did not disappoint. One of the things that was suggested multiple times was the idea for a symbiosis team. So let's break this team down really quickly. Dragapult here, Power Herb with Steel Terra type, Jolly Nature, Max Speed, Max Attack, Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Protect, and U-Turn with Clear Body. We have Gizmo, our Rotom Heat, Electric Terra type so that it doesn't have any weaknesses thanks to its being levitating. White Herb, Thunderbolt, Overheat, Protect, and Volt Switch, Max Speed, Max Special Attack. We have Iron Bundle here with the Booster Energy Ice Terra type to boost those ice moves. We've got Modest Nature with Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Protect, and Freeze Dry. And if you take a look here, you can see that how we have finagled the different stat spreads is that it is a modest nature, but speed is still just barely, just barely higher than special attack. So when the booster drive, booster energy pops the quark drive, Pokemon is crazy with these names. We will still be boosting our speed, but be dealing maximum damage after the speed is boosted. And we have our Citrus Berry Corviknight with a Dragon Terra type, Adamant Nature, Max HP, Max Attack, Brave Bird, Iron Head, Taunt, and Tailwind. This is for Tailwind. This is also to stop Trick Room on every Pokemon besides, I mean, like, it's like mental herb holders, obviously, but then also like you can't do it to Hatterene but you got Iron Head for that. And we have our Florgus, who is sort of the star of the team. It's, it's definitely the idea behind the team. Life Orb Florgus with Fire Terra type to resist those steel moves. Uh, we also have Symbiosis, obviously. We've got Max Speed, Max Special Attack on this Florgus with Moonblast, Pollen Puff, Protect, and Chilling Water is the only offensive water move that Florgus gets. The reason it's really important to have that, honestly, is because without that, Florgus has no way of hitting fire types or steel types. So Chilling Water is important. Uh, it also drops your opponent's attack stat, which can be helpful. And last but not least, we have our Obama Snow with Light Clay, Water Terra type. Timid Nature, Max Speed, Max HP. I went for Timid instead of Super Bulky. Blizzard, Giga Drain, Protect, and Aurora Veil. What Symbiosis does. The Pokemon passes its held item to an ally that has used up an item. The Pokemon has to be on the field at the same time as Florgus, okay? But if Dragapult pops Power Herb on Phantom Force while next to Florgus, suddenly Dragapult has the Life Orb. That's how that works. If you use Overheat with Rotom, the White Herb pops and you get Life Orb there. If Booster Energy activates while Florgus is on the field, then Iron Bundle gets a speed boost and is then holding a Life Orb to deal insane damage. Uh, if you lead with Bundle and Florgus, you can pop that, get the Life Orb, switch Florgus out hard, bring in a Bomb of Snow, and hit an insanely strong Stab Blizzard that you could even Terra to make it even over the top. Very, very fun. And even Corviknight gets in on the fun because if Corviknight pops its Citrus Berry, either procking it through uh, its own Brave Bird recoil or any other way, even Corviknight can become an offensive presence because of the adamant attack investment. It can take the life orb if its citrus berry is popped next to Florgus. You have way less control over this. Obviously, it's harder to pop your own citrus berry than it is to pop your own booster energy or white herb or power herb, but it's there in case it happens. And by the way, Florgus is no slouch. This Pokemon hits really, really hard and under Tailwind, 
It can outspeed a lot of stuff. And so Moonblast is so strong on Florgus. Pollenpuff is there, honestly, more to support the Pokemon you've just passed the Life Orb to while Florgus is still in the field. But as, as an attacker itself, Florgus has really impressed me in my battles with this team. And then Obama Snow is really there just to support Iron Bundle and also Aurora Veil obviously helps everybody on the team. Obama Snow, honestly, it's not, it's Symbiosis first, Hail second. So it's not like we're looking to bring Obama Snow a ton, although Obama Snow is obviously really, really nice for countering teams that seem to be very heavy in weather themselves. Then Obama Snow can be really fun as sort of just like a, a counter play. That's the idea behind the team. I'm so excited. I really hope that we get a couple of nice life orb passes to some of our really strong attackers here. And it doesn't matter if they're physical or special. That's sort of why I opted with the life orb being the item that gets passed because physical and special attackers benefit from life orb. That's the idea anyway. Everybody, if you're excited, please, again, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, help the video reach more people. I'd appreciate that. The channel would appreciate that. We're growing every day. I appreciate you so much. There's going to be a, two videos for this team. So uh, be sure if you liked this team and maybe a Pokemon didn't get to show up uh, that you know you wanted to see more of, chances are I've allotted it to the other video because I do like to showcase a specific duo in one video and a specific duo in another video or something like that. So uh, yeah, just sit tight. Chances are I probably got to it in the other video. Without any further ado, thanks so much for clicking on this video and let's hop into some battles here, shall we? Okay. So I know what this is. People have been using gravity on Sandy Shocks to make Lumina Crash 100% uh, uh, accurate on the... Um, Espathra? Espartha? What's it called? The Ostrich? Uh, that being the case, Dragapult can lead here and honestly just deal some insane damage right away. I kind of like Florgus's ability to cover some of the potential issues with that. Uh, and also would give me the life orb after I pop the thing. Yeah, the biggest thing is like they can't lead in DD. If they lead in DD and I go for the Phantom Force, then they can just follow me. But I'd love to hit the Espathra and I'd love to hit the um, Fluttermane with this Phantom Force. This little special Phantom Force play here. Um, I like Bundle for Sandy Shocks obviously. And we will try to combat their sand with my hail. Instead, of, like I could have just chosen not to worry about the sand and instead bring um, Corviknight for Tailwind. It's a, it's a, it's a toss up when you play with this team. Like, do you want the speed or do you trust that Dragapult and Bundle are fast enough on their own? And in this time of booster energy on your opponent's Pokemon, it's not always a given. Okay. It feels pretty obvious that they're just going to go for the... Um, they're just going to go for the gravity turn one, I think. Um... I have no reason here to pop my Phantom Force, so we're just going to wait for the Espathra for that. Uh, they're also going to get Tailwind, though, is the problem. So I could Terra Steel when that happens, when the time comes. But while Florgus is the one with the... Um... Hmm. I could Chilling Water one of these two Pokemon. I don't want to get burned. I don't want to get burned. Oh, thank God. Okay. They're going to set Tailwind, but we're going to take out the... Uh, we're going to take out the Talonflame here. Really glad that I targeted in with the Chilling Water. Yeah, because look, that wouldn't have picked up the KO. Whew. Chilling Water. Doing what I need. Okay, Espathra. 
They haven't gone for gravity yet either, which means they need to do that on this next turn. Bring it in. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's go. Okay. They can't even protect this. So what I do, do I need to Terra to resist the... Do I need to Terra to resist the Psychic move here? I think I'm gonna, yeah. And let's just pop the Phantom Force into you. Um, And I think I Chilling Water, I kinda wanna see how much this does to you. So let's try that. I still think there's a chance that they protect with this Pathway to get one speed boost. They're going to tear the Aspathra into something. Yeah. The fairy. Okay, at least they don't resist me. Do they protect? Probably not if they if they tear it. Dueling Terra's here. They don't set gravity. They just go for a cold Lumina Crash. They're trying to take out Florgus, but that did nothing to Florgus. Drop my Spideff like crazy, but we're going to vanish there. And we're going to do a lot of damage to that Espathra. We now get the Life Orb on Dragapult. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of damage to their Sandy Shocks. My guess, honestly, is that they go for a, now like an Earth Power into Dragapult. So I think I can just protect with Dragapult for a turn. Um, and I might be able to get him Bundle now. Problem is that the Espathra might still just go for a move here into the Florgus slot. How many turns of Tailwind do they have left? Just the two. Okay, I actually can get Bundle in here, and as long as we survive the hit, I can protect for one turn and outlast that Tailwind. So I think I'm gonna try and do that. I really think that me going Terra Steel there makes it so that this Pathra can't actually do anything to Dragapult. And now they either have to Gravity on this turn or they have to Earth Power onto the Dragapult slot. I think it really messes with them. The problem with Protect stalling their Tailwind is that the Espatha just gets faster and faster, right? They try to Lumina Crash into Dragapult there. Very interesting. And what's this thing do? Earth Power into Dragapult. Very nice. Not mad about that at all. Okay, they're going to get the speed boost, but I think I have to just live with the fact that Espathra is going to be faster than me in this game. Uh, let's go hard into Obama Snow, and let's protect with Bundle like I said I would. It'll stall out the rest of their Tailwind, and all I got to do is just outspeed that Sandy Shocks, because Sandy Shocks going to want to go for a Thunderbolt or a Discharge or something right now to punish my... It's pr I, honestly, I think that this uh, Sandy Shocks actually runs Thunder. I think that what happens is that you Gravity... And then Lumina Crash is dropping special defense stats so that Sandy Shocks can deal. Like we saw that it popped its special attack with the booster energy. And then it lands like 100% accurate thunders into sp special defense dropped Pokemon. Like it's a very fun combo. I think they're going to want to do that to me now, though. They Lumina Crash. Let's see how Obamasnet takes this. Pretty well. And they do just Earth Power into that slot as well. Wow, so they really didn't give a damn about... Yeah, they really didn't even care... <laughs> um, about Bundle there. Bundle could have gone for a Blizzard. Uh, let's Aurora Veil, and I think we Blizzard. I think we do Blizzard. Um, you know... I could Hydro Pump, but we get the we get 100% accuracy with Blizzard, and it's still super effective. So I still think that's what we go for here. 
and we bank on the fact that they might not attack the Obama Snow by going for the Aurora Veil. That's good stuff, Bundle. Didn't even need the Life Orb there for that. Thirst Path is just the fastest thing on Earth now. But I don't think I'm that scared of it. Like, I don't actually know that it can kill anything. Uh, and we should outspeed that thing because we... Uh, popped our, our booster energy and they didn't. So we should outspeed Flut Fluttermane here. Um, part of me is like, I want a Bombasone to go down, to be honest with you. So I think I'm just going to click Blizzard in case they don't attack me. And I'm going to hit another Blizzard right now. Let's just, let's just deal some damage, you know? We know that Dragapult outspeeds their Fluttermane. So we really just need some damage on that thing. It's really fun. They're dropping my special defense. Now the Fluttermane might be able to kill me. Oh, if that hadn't happened. Are they going to defrost right away? They're not, which also means that Obama Snow gets this right now. They probably just went for a D gleam. That's what I would have done. That's going to end the game earlier than, than was expected. Although I don't think that I needed that freeze to, to take this win. Um... Let's assume Dazzling Gleam had killed everybody there because of the Lumina Crash special defense drop onto Iron Bundle. I think Florgus and Dragapult come out next. Um, Dragapult could Phantom Force into the Fluttermane slot to guarantee kill it on a following turn while Florgus protects for a turn. And then on the next turn, it's just Fluttermane, or sorry, it's just Espathra against Steel, Dragapult, and Florgus, and I think that, I just think that we win that matchup. I do. So, the freeze is nice, but I don't want it to taint what was ultimately, I think, a pretty solid game for us as far as like switching stuff around. Really making sure that we uh, sealed the deal on all the different turns that we could. Switching into the bundle, even though we didn't need to protect on that turn, I think it was a really solid plan to stall the Tailwind. Not bad. Not bad. Good game to my opponent. Holy Trick Room, Batman. Looks like Perish Trap, too. Probably. Um... Well, there's good news and there's bad news. Like, I feel pretty confident that Dragapult can do a lot with Power of Phantom Force in this game. I feel less confident that it'll get it off if they leave with the Ndidi and the Armor Rouge. Um, but then I could U-turn, and that's not the worst thing in the world. Corv can taunt something, maybe. Um... So maybe that's my play. Although. Oh gosh, it's just this makeup of Pokemon makes it feel like it's guaranteed they get Trick Room. So I think I have to go Corviknight. I think I have to bring Rotom to live an eruption at some point. And let's also go Florgus. We're not going to bring Hail in this game. It doesn't feel like it's useful to me. Because um, even if they get Trick Room up, it doesn't matter if I get Snow going. Like, Snow is not rain. It doesn't weaken <laughs> eruption. They just don't get as much of a boost than they already would. And if I don't bring my Snow Pokemon, then at least I'm not weak to eruption at least. They leave with these two, though, so that's actually incredibly interesting to me. Um, they're probably going to fake out Corviknight, but I can Phantom Force that thing, and if they are not built correctly, I might take it out. Uh, I could try to taunt as well into... I think I try to taunt the Gothitelle in case they don't 
fake out and they try to go for Trick Room with Gothitelle instead. They just protect with Gothitelle. I wish I'd Iron Head into the Screamtail then. Let's see. How are you built? There is a very good chance they still live this, but... Oh, man. They are built perfectly. I tried to taunt the thing, but I taunted the wrong thing, I think. And they're just going to get Trick Room, right? Well, the nice thing is Dragapult is not actually impacted by this. Dragapult can still switch around freely. I think I U-turn U. My biggest thing is that I don't want them to be able to switch out, right? So, but I also like can't let them switch the Screamtail into Torkoal or something. I think I'm going to taunt that thing now. Um, there's a good chance they just go for like a fairy move though into Dragapult now. I kind of just forgot to Terra Steel. Although, do I want to Terra Steel? Oh, they tried to charm my Dragapult. You can't do that. And now you definitely can't do that. This nice slow U-turn. Oh look, they had the they had the mental herb anyway. I'm not gonna beat myself up then. Dragapult's gone. Dragapult's not going to care about this uh, Parish Trap situation. And we can taunt again if I want to stop them from going for another Parish Trap, which I doubt they do, but um, yeah. Do I go Rotom here or do I go Florgus? Rotom can still Volt Switch out in case they do go for another Paris Trap, so... Paris Song, so... Um, yeah, I kind of think I just like target into the Gothitelle at this stage. I don't think I actually have to worry about the Screamtail no more. Um... But how many turns of Trick Room are left? Three. So, I think I just T-Bolt into you. They probably just protect. I just want to name that. They probably just protect. Um, but yeah, I can do that. And I can try and just iron head into that slot as well. Or I probably just brave bird, honestly. They are just going to protect. This is, this is Paris Trap to a T. They're going to double protect, in fact. Rotom is not Parish Songed, though, so I still feel no pressure to... Yeah. Hmm. I, th I really feel like I can get rid of the Gothitelle. I really do. Uh... I think I maybe overheat, surprise them with that, and go for the Brave Bird now. And that way, if I want to save my Corviknight, which I'm not even sure that I need to. Look, they're switching out. They're giving up. And here's the, the thing. I'm, I'll do damage to you. I'm fine with that. We're activating their Protosynthesis, which gives them what? Defense, okay. That's unsurprising. Based on how much Phantom Force did, I think they're pretty physically bulky, yeah. Nice Brave Bird. Don't mind that at all. And I don't think this Overheat's going to do very little damage. I think it's going to do a pretty solid amount, in fact. Wait. They're switching out from an Eject button. Give me Gothitelle again. I'll hit that thing with an Overheat right now. Oh my god, let's go. Crit. That was an earned crit. Whenever you crit Parish Trap, you deserve it. And that means that I can save. We get the white herb popped. That means that I can save my... Um, 
my Corviknight if I want to here. I might want to, knowing that they have the, uh, the Screamtail and the Hariyama here. Um, only one more turn of Trick Room. Yeah, so Rotom protects here really, really easily. And I think I just go into Florgus now. Uh, I could also just go Dragapult. Might actually live whatever they go for. I resist the fire move. I did not Terra Steel. It was an accident, but now it's working for me. So I'm just going to ride that wave. Uh, I think they probably try to fake out my Rotom. And they go for like an eruption here. Um, and they can't do that. Into Dragapult, they can't fake out. They can't Drain Punch. They can't do anything special. And I don't think that Eruption, especially at this HP, kills Dragapult. They do try to fake out the Rotom slot. Look how small Rotom is. Is that just my Rotom? Oh, they yawn. Oh, they yawn. They're, of course they're yawn. It's Parish Trap. Little Sons, sons of Guns. Okay. I'm going to overheat that thing. Okay. And I think I'm going to Phantom Force into the Torkoal slot. I think so. They switch out their Hariyama. They're going to give me this uh, Screamtail. I'm just going to kill this thing. I think I am, right? They protect Torkoal. That's fine. That's why Phantom Force is also incredibly fun, even without pa Power Herb. Who do you want to take that? Hariyama or Torkoal? It's up to you. They probably just tried to get the Screamtail in, praying that I didn't target that slot uh, so they could get Trick Room up again. We're not letting that happen. No way. And there is Hariyama. Okay. I think I just Volt Switch here. If they want to fake me out like they can, it's fine. I might double into the Torkoal too, just to get a little bit more chip. And they're just going to cancel the battle. Uh, yeah. They're, the, the mode that that team needs to win, like their main win con was gone the second that I killed the Gothitelle, honestly. Um... And that's the trouble with Parish Trap. It's incredibly difficult to pilot. It's like devastating if somebody's really good with it. But like leading with um leading with Screamtail and Gothitelle just didn't give them enough turns. Like you saw that I had the turns to force their Gothitelle to get out before I even needed to give up my Corviknight, you know, to the to to actually being trapped. It also doesn't work when you're trying to trap ghost types like like Dragapult, so. Very happy with how that battle went. Good game to my opponent. Going up against Shamit. Okay. They have a Parish Trap possibility. Um, and it looks like they also have like Flip Turn and Volt Switch to get out of their own Parish Trap easily, more fluidly. I want to be aware of that. Uh, it makes me feel like Dragapult is the immediate lead here no matter what. Um... And I think also Rotom is a great lead here. I, this might not be a hail game at all. I like Florgus. And then I think it's just, I think it's just Bundle. Yeah. I think that this can work. Because we're going for Hydro Pumps and Freeze Dries, right? We're not going for Blizzards in this game, so we don't need the snow. I like that Dragapult outspeeds Fluttermane naturally and goes for a really strong Phantom Force that one-shots it unless it's Focus Sashed. I like that both Dragapult and Rotom have a way of getting out of Parish Song, so if they lead that way, like if they lead with the... Well, they won't even get Fluttersh uh, Parish Song off, will they? Mm -mm. Gothitelle, Palafin. Okay.
My instinct is actually to keep Dragapult in. I think Dragapult's really important for this next turn, and I can't get faked out, so... I think, yeah, I think I just T-Bolt into this slot and go for the Dragon Darts here. I think there's a chance they fake out Rotom, but that's it. They might also Trick Room. They go for the King Gambit. Okay, that's really smart of them. It looks like they're going for Trick Room now. Nice T-Bolt. I'll take that damage. And there's the TR. Again, both of my Pokemon here have a way of getting out of this. Uh, I can easily just protect Dragapult. Well, Dragapult can just switch out, right? It doesn't need U-Turn. It's a ghost type. It doesn't actually get affected by Shadow Tech. Bolt Switch will also get Rotom out. But I think I want to stay in and go for an Overheat now into the King Gambit. They're kind of setting me up for that. And I want to protect so I don't get uh, Kowtow Cleaved or Sucker Punched or whatever they want to try to do there. Yep. They might think that I'm locked in, too. I'm not. I can get out of here if I want. They just Psychic Rotom. That's fine. That's cool. Overheat. No more King Gambit issues. That's not a bad turn for me. And we reset our sp special attack drop because of the White Herb. Let's go Rotom. Biggest thing now is just that we're stalling Trick Room, yeah? Here comes Hands. Big Hans. Again, though, what do they do to Dragapult? Nothing, right? So I kind of think I can Dragon Darts again, and I can just protect with Rotom for a turn. I'm not trapped in here, and they can't fake out Dragapult. I don't think that Iron Hands really runs anything that can deal with Dragapult, and Psychic certainly won't take out Dragapult. The one thing they might be able to do is Wild Charge and Psychic into Dragapult. But that's not even going to kill it, right? And they psychic into Rotom. Okay, I'll take this little chip damage, man. We're just stalling Trick Room at this point. And we're stalling it good. Um, there's only one turn left, well, two turns left, okay. I protect with Dragapult for a turn, and now I Volt Switch off of the Gothitelle. I reveal this. Let me go into Florgus now, for sure. They Drain Punch Rotom, actually, they take out Rotom there, that's not great. I would've loved that extra little chip into the Gothitelle. I'm going to be a little risky here, um, and I think that because Florgus is on the field, they either have to switch out Scared of the Moonblast, or they have to... They got to do something to attack the Florgus, right? They can't just let Florgus do what it wants to do. So I don't think they double into Dragon Ball here. And I think... I can also Terra Steel to resist the potential Psychic. But then I don't resist the wild charge. I can't do that. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to Phantom Force into the Gothitelle to stop Trick Room from being able to go up again. And we're going to Moonblast into this Iron Hands. <laughs> what is this? Okay. They just went flying for some reason. I guess just to not be weak to the... And they wild charge into Florgus. That's fine, dude. Florgus lives it, too, from natural bulk, not because we're invested at all in it. Psychic is going to go into Dragapult. That's not going to stop me. That did more than I thought, but it's not going to stop me. Had they doubled into Dragapult there, we would have died. And here on this, the last turn of Trick Room, I'm going to one turn Phantom Force straight into that Gothitelle, remove it from existence, just completely erase it from history, in fact. And we're going to pass off our life orb to the Dragapult. Okay, Moonblast did so much to Iron Hands, too. And now both of my Pokemon will be faster than that Iron Hands, and whatever their last Pokemon is is going to have to deal with this. 
It's the Palafin. It actually can deal with it. Um. Thing is, is I have bundle in the back, right? So. Freeze dry will take out the Palafin. I feel pretty confident about that. Uh, they're going to try to jet punch one of my two Pokemon. Probably the Dragapult. They I can protect Dragapult for a turn. No, I think I have to attack. Darn it. I think I have to Phantom Force the Iron Hands and I have to Moon Blast the Iron Hands. I gotta get rid of Iron Hands on this turn. They jet punch Florgus, so I'm chill with that. And we're going to disappear. Houdini. Bye. They're going to attempt to wild charge. And the only thing that can stop me now is a really well-placed protect on my opponent's part. Iron Hands has Drain Punch, it has Wild Charge, it has Fake Out. They could protect their Iron Hands here. I'm just, I'm not confident that Phantom Force kills. And I think I have a better chance of winning winning if I double into the Iron Hands here. Oh, we're also super effective against Iron Hands. That would mean that Iron Bundle would hit that first and the, the Phantom Force would go into Palafem, which I'm also not mad about. We're doing that. We're doing that. Let's take out the bundle. Or sorry, the, the iron hands. I don't know what their palafin does here. Um, to be honest. Wave crash into something maybe? We resist the wave crash at least. Both of my Pokemon are faster. Though Dragapult will die to a jet punch. They just wave crash into the... Yeah, that's fine. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Freeze dry. We do not get rid of our water typing at all here. Uh, and we're gonna just outspeed it too. So all they could do is jet punch me and that's not gonna be enough damage to kill at all. Money. I feel really good about that game. I think I just made like every move felt like the right one. I'm really glad that I like kind of just like sat back. I let Dragapult and Rotom stay in. I was like, they can't do things. I am protecting. I can stop this. I can leave if I want to. And it also, I think, lulled them into a false sense of security with Dragapult and Gothitelle because I waited to pop that Phantom Force. And then I popped it on the last turn of Trick Room when they might have thought that I didn't have anything for their Gothitelle. They might have thought that I didn't have a ghost move. But I did. Good game to my opponent. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you want to use this very fun Florgus symbiosis team for yourself, be my guest. Rental code's right there. Pokey Paste is also in the description. Also a full team breakdown in case you want to change a thing or two about the team when you make it in your own game. I love hearing about what different people change about the team to make it work for them. There's different play styles. There's different ways to do this. I am certainly not claiming that this is the best way to make this team work, but I really loved using symbiosis because it always feels really great to me when a team has like a fun thing that surprises the opponent like symbiosis, but doesn't need to happen, right? Like Florgus loves holding that life orb and whether it gets to pass it to anything or not, it still makes use of it. It's not banking on the fact that you need to make that play work. So I, I feel really good about how this team works. I hope that you have fun with it. Thanks again for suggesting I try Symbiosis because I might not have if it weren't for you. And be sure to leave your uh, preferences for what I cover next. Give me ideas in the comments below, okay? I want to make things that people are enjoying watching, obviously. Thanks again for clicking on the video in the first place. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Berm. See you later.